Hey, Arf here. Hey, I put a brand new deck on my house. It was long overdue. And I went through some trials and tribulations because I've never done that before. So when I put the deck up, I Googled like everyone else does. I looked for tips and tricks. And I went on Google and I Googled all sorts of things. I got a lot of good information. And thanks to everyone who posts their tips and tricks because it made my job a whole lot easier. Well, anyway, I got the deck almost finished. I know it's a cloudy day. It's actually drizzling a little bit of rain. But here's kind of a bit of what it looks like. Uh, did some design changes from the normal. Uh, I put some six foot steps on it. Six foot steps, Arf. What did you put six foot steps on your deck for? For crying out loud. Well, I tell you, the reason is this. I decided that once this deck was built, I wanted to make a tool shed. And I wanted to make that tool shed underneath my steps. So from underneath my steps, here's what I have. I have a six and a half foot dimension on width and you know eight plus feet overhead and I got two six by six posts and a four by four post on the stringer so what I what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enclose all this with fence paneling I'm actually gonna make two gates and then when it's finished I'll be able to take a lot of stuff like the lawnmower and you know ladders and stuff out of the garage that I trip over when I try to get to my cars and I can put it out here uh, in the new so-called tool shed. So anyway, enough of that. So what I decided I was going to do is buy some prefab fence panels from my local, you know, depot store. I wanted to paint them the color of the deck so the whole thing would match. Now these are six by eight foot panels, southern yellow pine. They come from, you know, your local depot store. Uh, no less than 40 bucks a panel. So, you know, I like easy stuff. So I bought them, and then a couple days ago, I put a coat of stain on the outside of them. When I did that, and that was finished and dried, I looked at the, I looked at the, at the slats of the fence panels, and I said, wow, how do you paint in between those? For crying out loud, this fence looks like it was painted by a rookie. So I looked all these over. I got, you know, pretty amateurish looking paint job on here and I wasn't too sure how to make that completely one solid color so I went to Google of course and I googled how to paint the cracks in a fence and what I got was things like you know the Wagner Springer, little brushes, trim tips off the brush, dip in, stick between the cracks, do this, do that and um, <clears throat> well <clears throat> those who know me know it just sounds too much like work so I decided I was going to see if I could figure out another way and I did so I'm going to share that with you. It may help someone else, maybe just be a crazy idea, but I'm going to let you decide whether it worked for me or not. Here's what I did. I went and found a spray bottle, like a Windex bottle, you know, under the kitchen sink. I dumped the contents into another one, consolidated. I took that bottle and I poured, using a cup, uh, I poured about a cup of paint this is water-based, water cleanup paint from a depot into the spray bottle, okay? And then I took warm water from a milk jug and I poured that into the bottle with it and I sloshed it around, all right? That mixes it up. That makes basically, basically and essentially a thin stain. So my idea was this. I don't really want to stain necessarily in between the fence slats, what I really want to do is just get that real bright white color off of them. So when you walk up to the fence, you notice the color, and you don't notice the color in between the slats. And it looks a little more professional with little effort. So what I did, and I took the half and half paint and water, sloshed it around, and I spray it in between the slats. See that? Now what you're doing you're not putting a heavy coat of stain in between the slats you're just coloring that white wood and oh by the way yeah you are you're putting a half a coat of stain uh, on the wood now so somebody says gee arf look at there it's running off you're right it is it's great once it runs off because it's thin and it's water it leaves behind no runny marks no humps no bumps no beads 
no nothing. It just dries. For the part that's already stained, it leaves behind just another thin coat of stain. And for the part that looked white in between the fences, well, and the slats, you can see that one compared to that one. Which one would you rather have? Well, I know which one I'd rather have. So, does it work? Well, over here, here's a slat that I just finished up. I finished this one up, I don't know, 40 minutes ago. That's when I decided I needed to YouTube this because someone else out there like me may need the help like I needed, and this might help them out. If it does, it's worth it. If it doesn't, just click it off. So here's what the finished product looks like. This is one panel that I did already with a spray bottle. And look in between the slats, even the wide slats. Look in between that. What doesn't jump out at you is the color of the, of the unstained wood. It's not as dark as the rest of the stain. Honestly, look, see that? But look from here, you can't even tell it. That's the trick. And you can always go back and spray it with a light coat. This stuff, just like that, and just like on the other fence, this all was water-based, so it ran down the front of the fence. And when it dried, notice, it doesn't leave any stain marks, no run marks, no lines, no beads, no bubbles. It just, no drips. It just runs down the fence, soaks in to a lighter color of stain, which hides all the white wood, and then it's gone. Here's another example. See this right here, you see that in there? All right, here we go. Stain, 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 squirt, 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 squirt. And the thing is, you don't have to do every board. You only do the ones that stand out. You only do the ones that people are going to notice, like yourself. If you're kind of a perfectionist like I am, you know when you get finished with your, with your work and you hang it up, that's when you see all your imperfections. I know that's when I do. And that's when I think, wow, I could have done that when it was easy because now i got to figure out how to do something that's going to be tough. So anyway, there you go. That's what I figured out. And this has worked completely for me. And that's what the wet product looks like. And there's the water runs that'll come down the front. <clears throat> and when it dries up, intermediately it's going to look like this because I just sprayed these for the demo. And then the finished product's going to look like this. And you won't see any standout marks in between the, uh, in between the slats. So anyway, that's a problem I have. That's the way I solved it. Your idea might be different. Your idea might be better. If it is, post something up on YouTube. Share it with the world. Make everyone's life a little bit easier if you're a handyman and not a professional like me. So that's what I did. That's me. I'm Arf. I'm out of here. Ooh, rah.